All right, welcome back, everyone. The long-awaited commentary, yeah, <laughs> for the Amazing Spider-Man Part Three is here. Um, yeah, we're finally doing a commentary. I'm here with my brother, collaborator, writer, mm-hmm, yep. co-writer. This, uh, this is a big one. This this is a big one. This took a long time. What was it? Three months? Roughly. Roughly three roughly months. Roughly three months of uh, just you know animating and. The writing process was the trickiest part, you know, but we'll get to that later on, I'm yeah. sure. Uh, of course, we got this intro. We wanted to make it the best it could be. I think it's my favorite. I think it might, yeah, I think it's it might have topped the first one. And the first one, I really like the first one. I know, you, you're a big fan of that. Gotta and... put the gob on in there. <laughs> and, uh, what's to come? Oh, know. man. Just a lot of craziness going on in this one. Some might say madness. Y- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this scene. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to say. Right? There's a lot Just to now, say. Already. First of all, big production increase. Production increase. Got all the city, the city in the background, the light. Yeah. The purple and the green. And yeah. The goblin light. We really had to, you know, establish that that tone that we we wanted to. This was just a fun scene to create in the writing process. Mm-hmm. Like, what does it look like with the goblin? infiltrating the mind of Norman. Yeah, like we get a lot of insight in how um Norman's like mental state. Yeah. It's not the greatest right now, right? Like obviously he's just reminiscing over not reminiscing, uh trying to get over the tragedy of his son. Right. And now it being linked to Spider-Man, which now he knows is Peter Parker, the goblin is like Many... jumping at the opportunity to um Yes. try and, you know, Re- like really uh, conquer him yeah in a way. conquer his mind yeah you know it's it's really a, a game here that he he's trying to seep into the mind mm-hmm. little inch by inch you know Norman's resisting you know mm-hmm. he, he gets up there you know he took yours you know it's just the goblin being like like a separate entity here yeah like he's not even just a mask like right that's the one thing about the Raimi trilogy I wanted to like up on I wanted to make it an actual character in the setting. It's like Norman is trying his best to distance himself from the Goblin by making just it's just a separate monster, right? But near like the end here, where it's converging, right? There right. are two I- identities at the mirror or the, the reflection. Of at course. the mirror, they merge and they are one. Mm-hmm. And it's, yes. it's a terrifying thought, you know. This is one of my favorite shots right there. Oh gosh. The eyes just look, and I like. Oh, I'm happy mm-hmm. how that came out, that little mirroring. Uh, yeah, and of course the goblin eventually achieves his goal, you know, by seducing him slowly, methodically. He's, he's preying on Norman's weakened emotional, mental state of his son, of, which yeah. we we don't really find out too much in this. But of course, we have a backstory that maybe one day we'll share. But maybe, you know. You know. It's not. Oh, he's and here, succumbing. Yeah. He's succumbing now, slowly, but surely. And then um, this part—that's the vial, the serum. Right. Oh, he fades into. And the he back. faded. Like it makes you question if what he's looking, like how Norman is seeing the world right now. Right. Is like a distortion. Mm-hmm. It becomes more like. Can you really trust? Hatred has taken over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I thought we we worked very hard. On that scene, and it, it, you know what? It was actually really fun to write. That, yeah, I'm not gonna totally. lie. It was really fun. It's the last scene that was a bit trickier, but we'll get to that. Mm-hmm. This um, intros. I always like to have. A, <laughs> it's the most uh, intense. Yes, I like that. Think, <laughs> think it's intense. You know? It has to be intense. It's With the, the final. The laughing, the cackling. Yeah, crazy. Dylan McGow, of course, we got to mention. Ooh. Absolutely stellar, phenomenal performance. We have to say, you know, it's like all of our actors. All of them. Aced this. They aced it. Of course, we're literally... This is right after part two. Yep. Um, he just got stung by Scorpion. Just got stung. Very, very weak right now. And Goblin, oh, of course, instantly. <laughs> instantly betrays the team. What, what, what? Goblin is in it for himself. Right? He's in it to exactly. just take Spider-Man That's all it is. Down, you know? Yep. Of course, Miles tries to save him but fails. But um, yep. 
So yeah, I had to get rid of Spider-Man. I had to seclude them, and this was the way to do it, you know, by... This was always part of the plan. Just him snatch him away. Right. And I gotta say, this was some of the most hardest animation stuff that I've ever done. And I feel like it's aged well, but I feel like I can do it even better now. You know what I mean? It's it just, was the first time you were doing it. First time I was ever doing like a glider sequence, for sure. Um, I like this part where he, yep, yeah, the headbutt, the headbutt. You know, and then he grabs him like that. And then, th that's the thing, we want. I wanted to introduce transitions into this, you know, we have to establish that there's multiple things going on simultaneously. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the kind of like San I love using, <laughs> Sandman, Sandman's always a fun character to write for. Um, so yeah, they just got, you know, betrayed, of course. Now they have to think about what they're going to do now, right? <laughs> Of course. It's like, all right. I guess, I guess the team is done. But then Electro's gonna be like, "What about this?" One? They still got Miles in their in you know, their grasp. Loose, loose ends, as he he's about to say, you know. Exactly. They did their their job. Kingpin wanted them to capture Spider Man. Although, Goblin did some things, you know, kind of messed up the plan a bit. <laughs> Selfish, but we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Uh course yeah miles is gonna have to beat down <laughs> and the one thing i like to know is that this whole series starts in the daytime and it leads to night it's just one day it's just a day yeah the day of madness or the, the night. night of the goblin <laughs> <laughs> look at this this is oh my goodness <laughs> yeah i do love my one shots Although I think I do, I went a little crazy in some parts. Maybe <laughs> this is a crazy one. <laughs> I don't know. Dang, he's being knocked around. Yeah. Oh, and then Sandman here. Oh, oh bricked. Uh. And the, yeah, I'm very critical because there's things that I learned now that I wish I could implement into this, like the lighting. But oh, yeah. oh, here we come. Woo! Uh, of course, Gwen was introduced in part two, and she finally gets to the scene. She found him. Found him. With, with, with some help. This was fun to write for, their relationship. Because we want to give the sense that they are in a relationship and not... They have feelings for each other. Big time. Yeah. You know. And Venom's here, of course. <laughs> I love that line. Venom. You there. brought Venom? <laughs> yeah. This is such an odd, like, team. <laughs> like, yeah, at, least, I at least I haven't seen this in a comic anywhere where these three team up. Yeah, it's something that I strive, we strive for, I think. Originality in some sense. I know there's no such thing as originality, but we're trying to do things that I haven't seen. I don't just want to do three Spider-Man multiverse. I want to do mm -hmm. a team of three, but something you don't expect, but that you hopefully end up liking. Mm -hmm. You know, Gwen, Miles, and Venom. Now, this is this is another sinister battle, like in part two, but it has yeah. a has a different tone and pace. To yeah, it. it's actually much faster and more comical. <laughs> yes, like they're just they're... getting their asses handed to them. When you when you introduce two Spideys in the midst, I think they have a much better chance. And of course, you got Venom, which but is just, just a, a tank, you know, just a tank, a giant. Uh, Scorpion always fun to. Uh... <laughs> That, yeah, that okay. run. <laughs> um, this Gwen toy, though, I'll tell you, was not the uh, funnest to animate with, I'll tell you that much. It's not a great custom. I couldn't get, you know, a better version in time, so I, I ended up just making a custom. And it, works. it works. It works, it works. Yeah. I'm not angry about it, I'm just, you yeah. know. And then, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> implementing those those moments of levity in the battle mm -hmm. you know so it's not just a constant stream of conflict like there's at least it slows down and right. it picks back up again it picks back up again with Sandman and the music it. you know was your idea really I think Bad I, Reputation I, yeah, yeah. or the Shrek music people <laughs> the, say the Shrek music yeah uh, it fit it fit like that's it how fit. I pictured yeah. how the scene would go down exactly like this is just too much for the sinister to handle I couldn't it really yeah I couldn't think of it any other way 
Venom's tr she's trying to control him like a rabid dog, and he's kind of listening. And then Venom or Electro <laughs> just burns his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a fun yeah. video. It was a fun video to uh, animate to create this whole little section. But of course, the best part is coming up. Oh yeah. You know, originally the, yeah. there was an idea that has uh, Mysterio yeah. be in the battle as well, but right, there was. Later on, we started thinking, well, we Mysterio, you would think Mysterio would have something else planned, something bigger, and something I wanted more something spectacular, something grander. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there was even an idea. I don't know if we should say this about the the androids. They weren't androids before. They were going to. They be were a... androids. Hmm? They were androids. You mean? Or the Sinisters. The, the, they were actually going to be turned into certain Avengers. Yes. Like a yes. hologram. It was a really high concept. Not even high concept idea. It was just... I it, think it was going to be too confusing. It was... Yeah, because we, went in, we ended up using the androids because it was just simpler. And it actually was more versatile. What I'm saying is, though, like, we were going to have the Sinisters, like disguise themselves as the Avengers. Yes. That's what like Sam just to clear that like up. Whole yeah, Doc Electro Ock was a giant man. Electro being Iron Man or something. But we ended up just like completely taking them out. <laughs> they just get owned. Yeah. Which I think is funnier. But then of course And it's, it's the real battle begins. It's like um the lights just turn off and then you kinda of realize, was this whole place just a big set? <laughs> Right, and then that's where we we get into uh, well, we get into the final act. Uh oh, well, I guess it's midway technically. It's <laughs> midway, but Mister was like, yeah. here uh, <laughs> the building. I had so we had so much fun coming up with this. Here, Evil Dead reference with the mm -hmm. camera. We really wanted to have. We really wanted to show Mysterio as a formidable opponent. It's maybe even more so than the Sinisters combined. Yeah, you know? it's something we haven't really seen, honestly, in film at least. I, the, we and have, then of course we cut back to that. Oh, yep, yeah, he's being. Destroyed. We'll get back to Mysterio. <laughs> um, this was an important. All the Goblin stuff was filmed first, so every Goblin scene. Yes. The last thing was the sinister bet on Mysterio. Yeah, we wanted to have Spider-Man save some civilians. Like, get Goblin's just, just on, he's, on the loose, right? <laughs> he's, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's going he's, mad. <laughs> like, this, this is, in a way, this might be like Goblin, where he's just the most erratic. Yeah. And chaotic. You know? And there's all there was also I, you know, conversations about us expanding on this whole sequence where. He's killing more people, and MJ would have showed up. That's just a little, yep. you know, yep. a little behind-the-scenes stuff. But we ended up uh, streamlining it, I think, for the best, for the better, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day we'll see it in a flashback, because you don't see the whole battle in this section. That's the idea. You only see the worst part, and then it cuts to black. Yeah, a lot of the battle is, um, like... You know. The battle goes on for a while. And Before he gets to the warehouse. Yeah, like... That's the idea, anyways. Maybe one day we'll we'll have flashbacks. Oh. And then, of course, here we have... So many people didn't realize it was Chavez. <laughs> and that, of course, goes to Superman versus Hulk. <laughs> so they're all connected. This is a... In a way. This universe is called the... Um, they nicknamed it uh, Earth... 115 Earth 115 because of the uh, well I'll let people come yeah. up with see if people can figure that out <laughs> little trivia comment in the comment below if you think you know why it's called Earth uh, 115 yeah that was just a cool looking effect of where it was like a train but it was a building yeah that was fun to do it looked confusing you know because yes. Mysterio is mysterious I guess <laughs> yeah making the buildings trains the buildings trains were was a uh, it felt right. <laughs> I like the dynamic here where Miles is like, yeah, just let Venom do whatever. Just, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> you know? But like, Gwen is like, all right, come on. Come on, let's go, team. <laughs> yeah, right. She's keeping... And of course, a the, little wall reference. The wall. Spider Played by you. Yeah. Uh, Spider-Man's greatest enemy. Oh, of course. Can't climb it. Um, yeah, this was just me having fun. 
it was my excuse to just play with the Avengers. Something Mysterio would do just to mind fuck them or yeah, <laughs> excuse me. Another thing is like we didn't actually have a super concrete idea about right. what Mysterio was going to do until right. we like we figured out like yeah, Mysterio was going to have his own thing. But what was, what was it going to be? Mhm. And then we thought of Aven- the Avengers. Right. Right. Because of the the line in the first in the first, the first video with Miles, yeah. Yeah, so and it was a nice little callback. Also earlier in this uh, part He's like, who would you bring help? The Avengers? The Avengers? Yep, yep. So it, it was fun to just bring them in. and These uh, these toys were fun to use, especially the Iron Man. Um, you got to use like the light and some perspective with the fire blast. Or yeah, energy I, but blast. even now I feel like I can do it way better, you know. it was, it was was There was a lot of learning in this. A lot of learning. Um, yeah. This is one of my favorite animated shots with Black Panther. I like the way this... Yeah. And then... Him bouncing off the wall was fun. Um, like, <laughs> each of them are fighting like an Avenger, and then it doesn't get good until you know who shows up. Yeah. Hulk. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's just a crazy action sequence, essentially. And another thing that ended up working out by changing like the roles of like the Avengers, like they're actually androids now, is that right. it actually gave us like a. It actually made like Miles like that, the setup in the uh, second episode, yes, of where he did the bio bomb, and so it was like, oh yeah, that's how he's gonna solve it. But he's gonna do a big one, right? Right. We'll see that. It ends uh, up paying off in some. Way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hulk, of course. Hulk Hamish shows Burger. up, big ass Android. <laughs> Just... I love the scream. Jamal Berger, oh, doing an amazing job. Oh, you gotta be kidding! <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna be good. <laughs> Um, this was basically practice using that Hulk figure before mm-hmm. I ended up using it in a future video. Um, just the story of Black Panther. Just the story, and then and this then is he funny. Blows himself up. So they're a little. They're um, not the brightest. They're, they're not. They're still working out the kinks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wolverine. Uh, he, he just again, showed up. I f- he, completely again, forgot. I just wanted to play with toys. <laughs> guess <so. laughs> But it was fun. Um. You look strong. <laughs> <laughs> and just having uh, yeah, this no. little interaction with Hulk and Venom, I thought was... It was it was a cool image, so I wanted to do that. And then um, it just immediately gets smacked. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk, I mean, action is really important, I think. You could tell in a lot of our films. Mm-hmm. I love doing my action. But oh. it was just another. I, I wanted to like keep cutting back to like these... Little moments. See, now they these ha- characters. now now they have the idea for the bio bomb, and so they gotta just give me a minute. You know? Just give me some time. So now they're, they're using their brain. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see, but Miles actually went behind the little wall. Yeah, there's a, a little, little detail. A little detail there. Um, she's Gwen just, riding Hulk. <laughs> just gonna. Well, that sounds wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. Um, use the androids against each other. Exactly. You know? Exactly. There was a shield, and then the. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Done. And then this is yeah. when it just full madness breaks out. Yep. Mysterio's like, he's on okay. Mysterio's is just, he's just on his Thanos I, throne? That was... He's coming... When we figured that out, having him being on the throne, that was a light bulb. I was like, we need to have that in this. And then he's just commanding this whole army. Dark side. I mean, yeah. Everything. Yeah, these characters. Everything. Yep. Destroy them. <laughs> Destroy them. I played Mysterio, by the way, just in case anyone cared. Uh, <laughs> Red Hulk. Oh, what's on the back? Of course. Oh, Hellboy. Huh. Oh. Wink, wink. It's interesting because this was almost practice, in a way, for what's coming in the future. Yep. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, Keaton. <laughs> Keaton. Done. Uh, of course. Saitama. Yeah. I had to use Saitama. Omni-Man is here. Everyone. Goku. I mean, just it's, it's craziness. It's... This was so fun because it's very, it's super fast. Like everything is, yeah. everything is happening, right? So you're just like rooting, like, come on, Miles, unleash it. <laughs> well, unleash we we it. hope, yeah. We hope, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just fun to use all oh. of these characters. Oh, that was a fun little thing to do. I hope I didn't upset any Goku fans there. Oh, boom, boom! Complete change in light. It just shatters the entire. <laughs> you see Jar Jar there? Yep. 
just, and then he gets flung back. No. <laughs> so his whole plan was just. It, 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 kaput. it fell. <laughs> it fell. Uh, did we cut back? Oh no. That's right. We stay on this. Yeah. The aftermath. The aftermath. Oh, this shot. This shot. Yeah. Right there, yeah. That was weird. Um, it's a Matrix reference, but... Uh, it was just like a little fourth wall breaking, too. Like, oh. Wow. <laughs> I, like to, I like to be a little cheeky. Oh. Some people might know that's actually Dragon Frame, which is what I use for yeah, uh, yeah. stop motion, of course. Now, all these villains in the Sinister Steam like, have their like motives. Doc Ock wants to you know, redo like his research. Sandman wants to get out of prison. Right. Mysterio wants to make a movie. Mysterio, <laughs> Mysterio's motive is a bit mysterious, some might say. Yeah. Um, and but, there's something afoot that we have plans mm, to yeah. e- um, explore in the future. This is kind of almost a little tease of what he's talking about. Because you know, it's like. He gets away. He gets away. Was that even him? Or was that a hologram? You don't know. You don't know. We don't know. And you see, like, the tone is slowly, like, teetering downwards. Because it's... We're going to be going into the goblin fight. Yeah. And there you see a little bit of symbiota crawling on Gwen there. But the tone is shifting. Now the tone's shifting. Yeah. I like this exchange, you know. That's fine, Peter. You know? And then... And then this is this is what this happened is just you, a little bit before. Yeah, because they find him beat up, right? But this is okay. <laughs> yeah, this we wanted this battle to be very. Uh, I didn't want. I wanted cruel? you to be guess very cruel and very even cruel. barbaric. Even very. I think that's a good word. It's it's brutal. And mm-hmm. if I if I had a second chance, I would have added blood. Maybe, yeah. To Peter on a lot of these. That jump was slick. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I do try. Uh, of course, yeah. custom head. I like that how it came out. This little conversation, I'm a big fan of what we came up with. Honestly, I'm a big fan of a lot of the stuff we come up with. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, we just wanted to accentuate. Accentuate is that the right word? Accentuate. Well, the goblin's motive is what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, like he goblin, goblin is, wants to relish this. Yeah, he's right? fully taken over at this point. There's no Norman. Peter's pleading for Norman. Listen to me, but Goblin, not having, it. not having it. Right, this is the night of where it all ends. He wants it done forever. Of course, it's a scary thought, you know, like <laughs> he. he destroy Spider-Man. he wants to, not even destroy he wants to torture him yeah i think exactly and that's when we get into it soon here this is what begins everyone yeah. will know what happened who spider-man was what does that even mean you know what it's does like, that even mean you know like the goblin's motives yep oh, that shot he, that yeah. shot it's like he he's playing with him right oh he wants he's yeah. toying with him for sure oh um yep yeah, it's, it's just it's cool animating that like Spider Man is not at the top of this gang, so he has to barely like. Yeah, he's get poisoned. By. He's injured. He's tired. He's his probably spider, hungry. His spider sense is not ringing as um, like alert as usual. You this know? is not looking good. It's not looking good. The destruct. Yeah, this whole set. That's something we really, I really wanted to implement destructibility. It's something I don't see enough, like actual practical destruction in stop motion. I just want to do more of that. Um, this part's brutal. You came up with this little doozy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chase. Weak. We had a line there where he just says, weak. But we cut that. We cut that. Good thing it's cut. <laughs> this is actually my favorite moment. Yep. When he starts talking. And then... Hide and seek begins. Is it like cat and mouse? Eh, a little hide bit, and seek. A, a yeah. little bit cat and mouse, though. Like Peter, he's it's clear he's not winning. He's not going to be winning this fight physically. No. All right. So he the he, whole he wraps up his arm and his webs there. The whole battle in the warehouse is like tradition, you know, in like the Spider-Man mythos, right? 
right. where he triumphs in the end, like beating the goblin. But we wanted to do something just a little different, you know? Yeah, we wanted him to beat him psychologically because that's the ultimate. He that's the ultimate win, right? Against a goblin. And Raimi in Spider Man One, they do that as well. Yeah. To so I, I it's kind of my love letter letter to Raimi's Spider Man. <laughs> But with our own twi- like twist. Like, Spider-Man wins. He only wins because he shows Norman compassion. Right? So Norman this can come brutal. out. This part's brutal. Dylan McGow. Jeez, man. His, go- his goblin it's is... It's horrifying. It's almost, like, sickly. Yeah. Extremely. Um, like this, He's unpleasant. The way I <laughs> viewed it is that this goblin is... Norman might even be dying. Or this, mm-hmm. or it's almost metaphorical where the goblin is dying, and this is like his last chance to do what he wants because mm-hmm. Norman has blocked him out. But this is like his one chance to do what he wants to do. Finally, it might it might be like some of the effects of the the serum. You know? Yeah, yeah, overdose. Oh god. Yep. It's not looking good for Spidey. Spider Man gets whooped. <laughs> oh, this shot where he's just breathing. Yeah, this is something I really wanted to. Like he's nail. uncomfortable, you know. Yeah. He's just thinking about what to do with him next, you know. Had to do one more slam there. Mm-hmm. And the the idea of them being tethered was interesting too. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, the, these two are destined to always be enemies. The Goblin and mm-hmm. Spider Man. They are connected. I mean, Goblin is like. He's the antithesis to Spider-Man. Yeah. In every way. He chose the way of the hero. Nah, he... Goblin chose another path. And oh. then this is when Peter finally... He's going to he's gonna he'll... try and get Norman out, right? Whatever bit of Norman is in there. Yep. This, is, this was actually hard to nail. I didn't think I was going to pull it off. Oh, yeah. Right in... Yeah, this was... We, w- we wanted to get this right. Yeah, this was tricky. We spent so many like sessions of figuring like the, the yeah. It needed to be enough, but not too much. Cause right. He's like he's barely about to get by here, right? And the and then, then the overlapping of audio. It, it's right. Like the barrage of voices. And, right? Yes, overlapping all this audio with him going mad is really what sold it. I think. And. Dylan, like when he, with like the, it's like the breath out, like he's like, <sighs> it's like he's like he's release. freed from being suffocated. That's it. Peter saved him, and he's ashamed. He let the goblin take over, and he almost killed Peter, who he thought of as a like, son, a, another son. You that's know? his son. Just and then leaves. He leaves. <laughs> he leaves. Just that's it. Gone. Yeah. He came and faced him. Like, he's... He's, uh... It's tragic, in a way. You know? It's very... Yeah. Yeah, it's very sad when you think about it. It made me sad. Yeah. Especially the final scene, which we'll get to. And then, of course, the trio... When they find him. Thanks to Venom's snout. <laughs> they found him. They found him. And he's... And they're like, oh my god, what happened to him? This is something that I also wanted to nail... I wanted because these three are best friends and together they really are a unit and when they're separated bad things happen Mm -hmm. so that's what the continuation is it's like yeah they they all have the spider right like right that's their similarity like their common um power they're together right they're united Right, mm-hmm. but then, you know, the, the symbiote. You know, oh, who knows oh, what that oh. might happen? Did it just you know? it just seeped right into his suit, didn't it? Right. Something changed. That is a story that is, hopefully, will be told one day. We'll see. One day, yeah. One day. One day. If people want it. If if people want it, if yeah. People want if it. People want it. Um, the music here was something. That we found very late, I think. Um, I fell in love with this. Like it's tragic, yet like the clock is like time is running out. Yeah, that statue, or whatever, is like 
That statue Norman, means he's something. Like, he's like grieving, grieving over his son. And of course, the mask. This is. And here, I mean, he's not yeah. an entity anymore. He's just a mask, right? Something reduced that he, down he, to just a mask. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And the goblin, you, we really wanted you to like hate the goblin by the end. Like, yeah, he's torturing. Norman's Absolutely torturing mind, him. Right. Yep. He uh, calling him out as weak, pathetic. Like, dude, Norman, he, he's grieving, right? Goblin and, has nothing left to do but just insult. Him. He has nothing left, right? He's, it's like he's lost everything at this point. Mm-hmm. And Norman. You see, he's finally up. musters up the strength, I think, to destroy it. Yep, he's gonna f- cast in the fire. Cast it away to burn. Ugh. And the way he still laughs. Yeah, he's, he's coughing, but he's still melting. Laughing. Yep. <laughs> Ugh. And then this this last line is haunting. You know, you can't. Get rid of me. You are me. And what is that? Fades away. <sighs> That's it. Norman is presumably free. But he did it. Peter saved him. All's well. Ends well. Until. Right? Oh, what's that? The consequences of the goblin catch now, up to him. This, and... of course. Here we go with this little stinger here. Oh. Tombstone. Tombstone's just scary, honestly. <laughs> yeah, if I saw that in my living room at midnight, I'd uh, <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> but no. <laughs> like, so this is a loose end. Kingpin is not so he's not forgiving. Pleased. He's not pleased. He's not what pleased. Happened, right? He wanted Spider-Man out, and this is what. And happened. here's the thing: it's not Norman's fault. It's the Goblin's fault, technically. The other persona. That... But Norman still bears the brunt of like all of the all of it really you know all he's the, the consequences he's, he's yep. the one that gets punished ultimately and that's just tragic it's know? a tragedy the story is ultimately ultimately a tragedy and you don't mess with someone like kingpin no, no. his power he has his fingers everywhere yep and unfortunately it doesn't look good for Norman. No. I didn't. Yep. And then, this was a fun... This was really intense writing, I think. We went through many yeah. versions of this, honestly. Like, we were... We, we didn't think... I didn't think we nailed it until... I don't know. It, it just took a while to really nail this whole dialogue. Mm-hmm. But it was fun. It's like a um, rising um, dread... Yeah. Like, you know what's happened. You know what's going to happen, but you're like, oh, no. <laughs> Norman tries to grab the grenade there, but it's too much. Tombstone is here for one reason. Clean up the mess. That, Clean up the that gun. loose end. Yeah. And here, just staying on the phone, there was an idea to show the brutality, but there's something about not seeing it, I thought, that, that was more effective. It almost makes it kind of worse because it, it leads you to imagine what is yeah, happening. Yeah, especially his scream here. Yep. And his begging, you know. And then you cut to the kingpin, Wilson Fisk. Just to see if if he's taken out. And, and once it. it is, he's he's done. Hangs up. And this is an interesting moment. This is something here. that really is going to carry over, hopefully, in future stories. Like where, he's kind of contemplating like what he just did like this is is it regret is it anger or sadness we don't know what he does you know what kingpin does of course we cut to hell's kitchen yep maybe a new hope going into the underbelly and credits and credits yeah, this was quite the production. I, I am proud of it. I think you should be proud of it as well. Totally, totally. I um, think, um, yeah. A lot a lot of hard work went into this, just to a lot make of it work. as good as it can possibly be. In. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure part three was satisfying, but also leaving you wanting a little more because 
there's still story to tell. Of course. Absolutely, absolutely. There's still story story to tell. But um Yeah, it was a it was a long process. It was a long process. Of course, thank all our actors, my gosh. They're the reason this thing is uh, as good as it is, I think. I know. And you know, I mean, small thing. I just love how the music just everything is important, you know. Yeah. I got to make credits impactful. <laughs> it's lining up with each of the yeah music. yeah and this is the only one where th- it doesn't allude to any future part and it's it's all red this is essentially the first act the end of the first act yeah like this is complete here right yeah and um i said everything i wanted to say when i finished this with the goblin the intent was to always make a story about the goblin and the sinisters and spider-man essentially and it, yeah, happy how it came out. I think. Me too. Me too. Um, so I guess that I guess that concludes the commentary. Yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, watching. I always appreciate the comments below. Tell us what you think. Oh yeah, the comments are. Yeah, I, I, probably one of our our favorite parts. Just seeing other people's reactions. You know? I, it's it's the joy of doing this, right? Looking at the art through other people's eyes is. Uh, very satisfying so i thank you all especially those who write massive essays that take the time <laughs> to really explain what they think about it like and i thank you all awesome. for awesome yeah i just thank everyone for supporting this little three-parter and uh and yeah yeah just and stay tuned for future projects including got, you know the uh, next episode of uh superman's uh journey yeah well yeah the multiverse (laughs) multiverse unleashed so hopefully we'll see everyone there and uh yeah peace out bye